What's up, guys? It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365, March 18th. Whew. A lot going on in the world today. A lot going on in the world today, guys. Let me know in the comments what's going on in your town. Let me know what's going on in your country. All right? I want to hear about our stores with empty shelves. Are they around your town? Do you currently have some sort of martial law going on? In my state of New Jersey, I'm not allowed to leave the house after 8 p.m. Can't have a car on the road. That's crazy. Whew. Crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. But let me get this going for you guys because I need to start my grow immediately. I told you guys I am starting from scratch. Everything downstairs has been cleaned. I'm going to go reservoir, reservoir, reservoir. I'm going to have three at the top three at the bottom we're going to be maximizing the yield across the entire spectrum of inside of that shelving space here are some of my new seeds all seeds i'm super excited for these because these are literally just came in a few days ago i got this one this is for some heirloom spearmint i really want some spearmint i love tea that's why i got that lemon balm i got that for the same exact reason i want some just just good I like the smell of it you know the spearmint the lemon balm smells amazing I wanted to get some color into my lettuce this looks awesome red sails lettuce looking awesome this I'm not sure if this was a um more like a romaine but I don't think so I think this is more like a buttery type of lettuce all right non-gmo seeds I like that 100% certified organic um, no plug. I have no affiliation with these guys. Peaceful Valley. Uh, looked them up. It took a little bit to get going in regards to the shipment, but you know, in you know, in regards to what's going on in the world today, it is what it is. I have some romaine lettuce. I'm really going to go nuts on this, as well as this romaine lettuce here. Uh, this is <laughs> whatever you want to call that. Rouge Devire and Little Gem. Um, so I'm stoked about both of these. Then I ordered from this place, Seeds and Such. This was actually free inside my package. They gave me two things of herb, basil, there's a Newton, uh, they're both the same. So a 50 pack of each, that's not bad. Thank you guys very much. But this, I'm super excited for this. Hybrid Cucumbers, English Sweet Slim. Very, very excited. Only five seeds in there. That's crazy, only five seeds. But this, um, I'm really excited. They're saying that it's got a uh, more than an 80% or higher germination possibility. So we're going to see. I'm going to keep you guys tuned. This is I'm going to be growing these indoors, these cucumbers. Also, some watermelon sugar babies. <sighs> it sounds crazy. I really don't want to grow them inside. But I might try just one just to experiment. I just don't know what to do with... I mean, it, they, a watermelon vine just grows so big. I don't know what to do with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to grow this inside. I might try it. They're going. To, I don't know. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. If you guys have ever done, if you guys have ever done hydroponic watermelon, let me know. But right now, I'm going to be taking this selection for sure, as well as one of the cucumbers. Actually, uh, I really want to get the cucumbers going, but that's going to take a longer of a time. What I really need is this lettuce here. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to get these lettuces inside of here here's my sprouter mat as you guys know a nice heat mat goes a long way it really provides some nice heat for the germination stage i fill these little cups up right here and then what i do is i i close them over just like a little takeout container close them up like that let them chill for like 48 hours 72 hours and they start to sprout so i'll show you guys the next phase of that let me just drop these in this water's already been pH'd. You know what I'm saying? You want to take your pH reader, read what the water currently reads, then take your pH up and down solution, plug that right in just very lightly. Be very light. And then remeasure. You want it to be approximately 6.5 to 7.5. So anyway, let me drop the seeds and um, let's go to the next phase. All right, guys. So time to take these off. I have some uh, interesting results. And I'm going to start taking you into what goes next. But in here, 
I have things that I'm going to be uh, transitioning into some rock wall cubes. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can get a better, better look for you. Not getting focused, but as you can see, there's plenty of little tails going on. This is the lemon balm as well as the spearmint. Now there are thicker seeds right there, and that's actually kale. I had some kale left over from quite a while. So I'm pretty stoked about that, and I will be dropping those into some rock wool. Alright, let's let that keep chilling in for a little bit. Now, oh, I don't know what this is. I'm pretty... what happened here? There's one. Okay, no joke. Um, this is a lettuce that I bought from a new company that I never really did business with. Out of all of those seeds, one germinated. I think you could see the tail rising around. I'll use it, but I'm pretty pissed off. I mean, look, seeds don't cost that much money, okay? But it's frustrating because in time of need, you need some seeds, and you don't want to be playing around. Now here, I also have some huh, decent results. I'm going to be doing whatever I can with whatever I have. It looks like I'm... I'm on I don't want to, I don't want to say things. I don't want to accuse companies, but when this happens, it's almost like I have, I got the previous year's batch. Okay. However, they generate these seeds. A lot of times they're produced for the upcoming year. If you have a previous year's batch, there are high probability of not, not sprouting. Okay. Not germinating, not sprouting. Okay. This is a sprouted seed. As you can see, see all that? That's a sprouted seed right there. And a lot of these are just not. And this is a new company that I'm using. And the names are, you know, I previously showed you the packages. But anyway, earlier today I went to uh, Lowe's. If you have a Lowe's near you, it's a convenient, it's a uh, like a construction convenience store type of situation. And I got a bunch of romaine lettuce. I got, oh my God, I got so much. I got tomato. I got all sorts of things. Let me put you guys right here. I got so many things. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to show you guys now how I put the rock wool into a little tub with a little bit of that Clonex and how it absorbs the Clonex. And then I'm going to show you how I individually put the, um, the, the seeds that, are, that have currently sprouted into the rock wool. Let's get to it. Now, the next thing you guys want to do is, okay, so what I do is I get a bucket. Okay, and as you can see here, I got my rock wool. Uh, by the way, just so you guys know, Everything that I'm showing you here today is listed down below. And make sure to give me the thumbs up as well as hit that like button and subscribe. You got to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. This way you get a notification every single time I upload a video. So anyway, here's my stash of all the rock wool. Okay, this is your growing medium. This is the rock wool. You will be basically putting the seed, and I'll show you in just a second. You'll be, you'll be putting seeds inside here, and this is how it kind of sits inside the, uh, the reservoirs. So from here, I'm going to fill this up with water. I'm going to put a little bit of the Clonex, and this is what the Clonex looks like. As you guys see here, this is the brand that I'm using for my nutrients, the Botanicare. Don't leave home without it. Well, actually, make sure you leave it at home. This way you can feed your plants. <laughs> this is it. I know everybody picking this up. This is the best one out there. This is the growth technology, the Clonex solution. All it is is uh, it's for cloning and seedling nutrition. Okay, um, I love this stuff. I buy a case. I, I buy a container like this. Lasts me quite a long time. You don't need a lot in there. But um, let me go ahead and put a little bit of water in there. Show you what I do with that, and then that's it. And then we'll kind of let it. I, I sometimes I usually let it sit for even overnight. Or it could be like maybe if I do this during the day, it all depends. Like it, I'm, I'm kind of piecing this video together, so I'll probably let this rest overnight. And it's actually better. The new the the Clonex will absorb into this. This way, when the seed goes inside, it really gets the nutrients that it needs. Let's go ahead and fill this up with water and put some Clonex into it. Now that I've added some water into it, I'm going to take my trusty solution of the boat. A Clonex here and just go like this look very little bit you don't need a lot so now that we have our rock wool cubes all soaked okay you guys just saw me soaking those they basically sat overnight I put that Clonex on them now they're nice and juicy ready for the seeds so this is what, what's going on with the seeds right now okay I'm gonna try to get a good little close-up look there's some decent ones here okay this is one batch I'm so I'm ugh, I'm unhappy with the seeds that were that were uh, sold to me 
I mean, can you imagine? Look at all those seeds non-sprouted. Can you imagine during a uh, critical situation that you bought seeds and you get this garbage, complete garbage, okay? At least we're doing all right over here. I had some old school, um, old, like I'm talking about like a year and a half, maybe two years. I have some kale in there. Okay, there's some kale in there, lemon balm, and uh, t -t 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 lemon balm, and there's one more. I forgot what it is already. But anyway, these are all going in in all of these rock wall cubes. The first thing that I like to do is like to take this chopstick and I like to increase the whole size just by putting this in and just going lightly just like this into every single one. Okay, let me speed this up for you guys. All right, so here's what I do. It's pretty easy, okay? It's pretty easy, but this is the method that I like to use. So I like to go in. This is actually two, but as you can see here, I grab myself, fished a little. Let's see if I get a close up on this. Gosh, close ups are always hard. Anyway, you guys see the seed on the stick okay here's what I do even if this see it grew a little too long but it doesn't even matter if it breaks so it breaks the tail it does not matter the most important part is the body of the plant as well as the head and you'll see this in just a few days after I have this the whole thing under light and literally in approximately 24 to 48 hours these little green heads Okay, they sprout up and they become beautiful and green and start the process to becoming a living plant. They're already a living plant, as you can see here. I mean, let's get real here. They started as a seed that had nothing inside. After a little bit of water and a few days in the heat mat, you got little, little seeds floating around. All right, let me go ahead and put these in and uh, we'll go to the next step. All right, so it's time for the incubation period. I went ahead and put uh, all of these here, put some seeds in there. Uh, majority of them are lettuce. I basically scooped up whatever I could. Uh, it was pretty hard because the batch was just so terrible. I'm pretty pissed off about it. But anyway, I keep this thing closed. I got the lights on. I actually have to turn both lights on because it's so cold in my basement. It's pretty cold. I don't really have circulating I don't have circulating heat air down here um, so that's it uh, I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna come back and uh, on the next episode I will let I will show you guys the process of getting these from here into the reservoirs alright guys keep safe out there have a great day